Hi, I'm on site at Embedded World 2025, and joining me today is Maria Hernandez, Product Specialist at Coitec. We're going to be talking about the OT product suite and the importance of mapping power consumption profiles to optimize power consumption in embedded and IoT devices. Maria, thanks for joining me. Thanks for the invitation. Could you start us off with a quick introduction to who you are? Yeah, sure. Well, as you said, I'm Maria Hernandez, Product Specialist at Coitec. And I have been the opportunity to go into the IoT ecosystem over the last years in my experience, having the chance to collaborate with different companies that are part of the different layers of integration uh, that requires an IoT solution, going through IoT platform, infrastructure, and hardware. And right now with Coitec, most focused on the, uh, in the energy optimization of low power devices. Great, and for those who may or may not know, could you introduce Coitec as well? Yeah, sure. Well, Coitec is a Swedish company uh, that provides a suite of products that helps engineering teams to power optimize their solution and a streamline hardware development process to develop energy efficient products that can last for years uh, deployed out there in the field. So given that the test and measurement industry is quite well established, there aren't many few new entrants, what sets Coitec and its products apart? Yeah, well, basically, basically, as I said, we provide a suite of products, and this suite of products combine hardware and software tools that help engineering teams to streamline their hardware development process. When we talk about hardware development, we know that this takes time, right? So how we can give, give them the insights to take data-driven decisions that help us to reduce this development time from years to just a couple of months. So, yeah, what sets us apart is the combination of tools that we provide that you don't need to have just a, like a multiple devices that are bulky in your laboratory. You can have just one device that is compact and flexible enough that helps you to not just power optimize your solution, but also to uh, select the right battery for that particular solution. And then when you figure out all of this, you can automate all these processes with scripting capabilities and streamline your hardware development process at the maximum. That's great. So why don't we talk a little bit more about power consumption profiles? How are you helping engineers with creating profiles of their devices in real world conditions? Sure. Basically, we provide, as I said, a combination of, of, of tools combining hardware and software. So at the beginning, you have a, like a little compact box, as we said, like a black box, that helps you to power supply your solution, but at the same time, you can source measure that unit. What means that like, you can measure multiple channels from the main system that is voltage, current, and power, so you can understand how your device is behaving in a different state, when it's active, when it's deep asleep, when it's sending a data to the cloud, for example, and then you can have, have this information to constantly and iteratively uh, debug your, your hardware, not just in the hardware aspect, but also in the software side meaning that you can debug each line of code from your system to identify what are those uh, current peaks that you can find in the firmware that you are writing. So it's also like a, a collaborative tool that helps your hardware, your hardware and firmware teams to, to debug the things together and streamline the process of testing by getting the, the right data to take the, the decisions that they need to be taken to, push, to boost the um, the energy efficient products. And what are the advantages of doing this in the context of embedded and IoT devices? Well, in the context of embedded I was, or IoT devices, uh, we can help any company that goes up to 25 and 5.5 per. So we, it is not just going through IoT devices, uh, it's also you know, going to wearables, going to, to healthcare, going to consumer electronics, uh, smart metering, and so on. So how this helps them, basically, you know, like you want to uh, launch your devices uh, as soon as possible to the market, uh, but not just that. You also want to make sure to avoid uh, maintenance costs in long term. So you cannot just guess, uh, you know, what is the consumption of your, of your device, or you cannot guess which is the right battery for, for your solution. So how you, how you gain this insight is just combining uh, the right tools and the right processes and methodologies to achieve those goals. And could you talk us through what's in your OT product suite? Yeah, sure. So we have a hardware line uh, that com that where we provide two, two units. The hardware is called OTAs and OTARC, which both of them can be found in DigiKey. Uh, and those hardware units, as I recently shared, are the ones that help you to connect your device to do the power profile for it. 
So that's like our first step. You need to take your device, connect it, power supply it, uh, do the measurements, and do that iterative process once, on, once and once again until you define that your solution is as optimal as possible. So now that you finish with that first step, you have to go to the second step. So with the same tools, the same hardware tools, compacts and no bulky devices, you can replace the connection of your device and connect the battery that you consider that based on the environment where the solution is going to be deployed, you, you can choose different battery chemistry. So by that pre-selection, you can battery profile those batteries with the same tool. So you replace the connection from your device, you connect your battery, and you can use our same tool by using our OT2 boxes, which is an extra software license that you can add to make this initial tool uh, more flexible to become part of other processes within your hardware development process. This license can be also fined into DigiKey as a perpetual license, so you can have lifetime access to the entire OT product suite. So with this battery toolbox, which is the particular one that helps you to battery profile your solutions, you can basically use the power, the power consumption of your device, as you did it in the first step, to take those considerations to battery profile, the battery that you require to use, and also for the conditions where this device is going to be deployed. Some things that affects a lot the battery capacity of the devices is the temperature. So you have to consider where this device is going to be because it's not the same to deploy a battery-driven device in the middle of a winter in Sweden than in a tropical weather such as Colombia. A, a device deployed down there can just last a few weeks if it's not uh, properly optimized for the battery consumption and months uh, in the other in a different weather. So by battery profiling your device for your corner case, you make sure that you gain the insights to um, to you know to to use that battery and the maximum. So basically, that's the first step that you have to do in terms of the battery profiling. Then, what happens when you get this battery profiling? With this, you gain the insight of how your battery will be discharged considering your device power consumption. Now that you've gained this profile, you can emulate it in top of the, that devices. Batteries are validated in idealized um, environments in laboratories. And that's what that's the information that data sheets provides you. So to to but by battery profiling your battery, you basically uh, put it put, put the battery under the real test that then you can use in top of your device. So our same box becomes flexible enough to now become in that battery that you just profile. So basically you are mimicking the battery to try it in your device and identify, identify exactly uh, how that battery will behave in top of your device. If we're talking particularly about IoT devices, there is a certain point that the current peaks that your device will generate, it will be, not, it will be that high for the battery, battery capacity that the battery will have a certain point when it's being consumed over the time, that it will be not able to handle the, the communication with the cloud. Your device can last turn on until the end of the battery life, sure, with a LED or something, but, at preview, but uh, before than that, it will stop transmitting data. And that's the value that you need to consider as a battery capacity to estimate the battery life of your solution. So basically, you know, you can, uh, you can uh, estimate the battery life taking the, the values that you are uh, gaining from a battery data sheet. You need to actually put the test of the batteries under the real conditions to identify the actual battery capacity that can be extracted from the battery, and then you can estimate a real battery life and actually meet the meet and guarantee that the battery life that you are saying to your clients is the right one. It's not saying our device is going to last up to two years, up to five years, up to 10 years. It's that if you say to your clients that your device will last two years, five years, 10 years, that's the li lifetime that they will actually have from their products. And with this, you, you know, you, you, have a, you keep your good brand reputation, you keep your te the technology that is reliable, and you will keep growing your business uh, because your innovative technology is pretty solid and it's working as you are saying out there. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that overview, and I think definitely raises some really good points about the variety of conditions yeah. in which these devices are deployed and, and what you need to be mindful of. 
Could you provide some examples of how automated power testing using OT has been implemented in real world projects? Yeah, of course. And now that you mentioned that, it's pretty important because, as I was saying, like uh, the, the tool is flexible enough by adding these OT toolboxes as the OT battery toolbox that I just mentioned, but also you can add the OT automation toolbox. And with the OT automation toolbox, what you do is that all the things that I just shared, like power optimizing your device, battery emulating your device to mimic the battery and you know see how everything behaves, it can be automated by scripting capabilities. So you can use our, AP, our API to create your own scripts to automate all of this process and streamline your hardware development process. Or you can also, uh, by this API, we provide uh, pre-existing clients for Python, Java, c -sharp, and MATLAB that you can go to our documentation, easily find a couple of examples that help you to do some basic measurements, to run measurements in unpremier mode, to compare a measurement with a previous measurement that was taken, or if you would like to validate how your device will we act under different voltage levels and run a voltage sweep on it and see, okay, how you can optimize that efficiency for the different voltage level or how your device is being discharged on, on that. So with that aspect, you don't have, you don't need to have like a, an engineer behind doing all the manual, manual tests that takes time. Uh, you can just run a Python script, for example, that does all of this for you and basically you are streamlining that process. And by streamlining that, that process of measurement, it also helps you to do this in your production line. So you can do continuous integration testing and validations where you can basically generate a setup where you can have your debugger connected to our board alongside to the device under test, build your firmware, then uh, connect it with our tool to power supply the, the device and do, run the measurements. With this aspect, if you combine the whole, the whole OT product suite, we are there since you write that first line of code or that blink or hello world as we, do, as we say it over here, until you pack your device into the box and you are guaranteeing that the, the technical requirements and expectations that the solution uh, requires and the, the environment where the solution is going to be deployed it's, it's you know meeting those expectations at its maximum because you are verifying and iteratively seeing you write the first line of code until you uh, do your production line and you pack your device to send it to your clients. Well, thank you very much for that overview, Maria. Um, I understand on your website you encourage your customers to master battery life. Could you talk a little bit about what that means and how it's done? Yeah, well, basically in that aspect, as I recently shared, uh, in a way, is like using the OT toolbox to run this, this validation. First step, power optimize your device. Second step, do the battery profile for your current case. Third step, emulate it to actually identify what is the battery capacity that can be extracted. And with that specific value is the value that you can use to estimate an accurate and precise battery life estimation for your devices. Well, thank you so much for joining me and talking a little bit more about your expertise in battery profiling. Thanks for the invitation.